soul bear. Dolgi. <laughs> you may know her as the girl who loves Pringles. Or maybe you will know her because of this. I like that. <laughs> or maybe as the skilled dancer of Red Velvet. But do you know how she becomes algae? No, let's see. Full name is Kung Suulgi, better known as Solgi. She was born on February 10, 1994, in Anson, Jeongju, South Korea. Her family consists of her parents and one older brother. She studied in Anson B. Alming Middle School and attended School of Performing Arts Seoul. She can speak Korean and Japanese. At the age of 13, Sulgi auditioned through SM Public Auditions with the song Doll by Shin Hyesung and Lee Ji Hoon. submitted her application when she was in 6th grade of elementary school and mainly because Sulgi always enjoyed singing and dancing. But she didn't receive a call back immediately, so she assumed she had failed the audition. I was like, I like to sing a lot at young age, and I sent my dad an audition. I was like, 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 I was
TV 보면서 김 먹고 있는데 <웃음> 오빠가 전화를 받더니 너 SM에서 연락 왔는데 이래서 가, 가서 이제 오디션을 보고 계속 그런 과정을 거치다가 바로 또 연습생 된 것도 아니고 약간 견습생 바로 계약을 안 하고 또한달두달 달 정도 지켜보는 거예요. 지켜보는. 그래서 평가회를 거치고 이제 계약을 하죠. 어. Entering like that to SM Entertainment on 2007 and training for seven years, learning different techniques in singing, dancing, and playing various musical instruments. During her trainee days, Sulgi attended school without drawing much attention as SM Entertainment had instructed her to keep it a secret that she was a trainee. I was SM 분명히 이걸 나를 열고 나올 수 있는 충분한 시간이 있었는데도 저는 그걸 깨닫지 못했었어요. 항상 정해진 프레임 안에서 정석대로만 연습하고 정석대로만 내 모습을 보여줬지 아무도 누가 이거를 열고 나오라고 저 대체 눈을 이렇게 열고 나가려고 지금 노력하고 있는 중인 것 같아요. 그래서 The first year Sulgi did just fine, but around the fourth and fifth year she got a slump which set her back. During this time, she doubted whether this was the right path for her. <laughs> It was a hard time for Sulgi, who felt like she had to give up on singing because she didn't like how her voice sounded. This made Sulgi question whether she can pursue her career as an idol singer. This insecurity had a strong impact on her. She began to fear the stage and lose herself in doubt. That period was not just a difficult time for her, but also to her family as well. I was in the house and I was always in the house for a long time. I was eating food and I was in the house and I was in the house. <웃음> 엄마도 아빠도 너무 제 길을 열어주셨어 너무 감사하고 어, 어떻게 보면 부모님 때문에 여기까지 오게 된 거잖아요. 음. 항상 응원해 주시고 지금까지 응원해 주셔서 너무 고맙고 사랑한다고 얘기하고 싶어요. <웃음> But as time passed, with her family's support, Sulgi realized she still had so much more left to show. With time, she became one of the most well-known SM trainees thanks to fellow SM artists and Sully. 
Crystal and Kyu Hyun mentioned her name on Radio Star as the girl trainee who had so much potential. But with time, only after meeting the other Red Velvet members, she was able to regain her energy and continue her training passionately. Her father, who even made a surprise singing performance at her school festival, was also her biggest supporter and source of encouragement. In December 3, 2013, she was one of the first three trainees introduced to the public through SM Entertainment's pre-debut project, SM Rookies, following like that to make her feature in several SM projects like the star in Henry's fantastic music video and months later around July 2014 to be featured in Henry's song Butterfly. During that period, she also released several clips and photos, some of them alongside Irene. But thanks to her perseverance and dedication, finally, on August 1, 2014, she debuted with the song Happiness as a member of the newly girl group called Red Velvet. Sometimes, you gotta be bold. Just rock the world. With her designated color being orange or yellow, thanks to her image, she got some nicknames by fans as Charismatic Bear, Sultan, and Doggy. During January of 2015, she starred in a musical arranged by SM entitled School Oz, playing like that the lead role of Dorothy. And later from April to May, she was part of a JTBC variety show Off to School. Her first drama Ost was entitled Don't Push Me and was released on July 2016 alongside Wendy as part of the soundtrack of the KBS2 drama Uncontrollably Fond. In October 2016, Sulgi appeared on King of Mask Singer as a contestant under the alias name Cinema Heaven, reaffirming like that her great vocal talent. Since then, the collaboration offers and projects didn't cease for her. Singing or dancing, even modeling, she was part of many projects. During November of 2016, she released You, just like that, as the theme song of Blade and Solemn. Other SM artists released a digital single titled Sound of Your Heart for SM Station in December of the same year. In January 2017, she released the song You're the Only One I See with Wendy as part of the soundtrack of the KBS2 drama Warong. She also released a duet titled Darling You with Super Junior's Yes Sung as part of SM Station. Later on the same year Sulgi was part of KBS new program called Idol Drama Operation Team show that invited seven girl group members to create their very own Korean drama series by becoming accredited scriptwriters as well as acting in the series as fictional versions of themselves. Uh, 
그왜 시상식 가면 레드벨벳 까지 안 돼요? 레드벨벳? It got so much popular attention and even released a song called 빨간 용단이 뭐가 좋아? continued growing alongside her members. Red Velvet's group activities never cease. 2017 it was a busy year for them and also for Solgi. They together keep releasing hit after hit. Later on February 2018, Sulgi was confirmed as part of the cast for Law of the Jungle in Mexico, taking her like that to the beautiful jungle in the south of Mexico. In April, Sulgi was part of the variety show Secret Honey together with Sunmi. And following like that to many collaboration projects like featuring in Moonville's solo debut, Selfish, on May. During August the she traveled to Austria alongside Wendy to film the reality show Battle Trip, a place she always had wanted to travel. In September the SM station single, Wow Thing, as part of a mini station group. And in October the featuring of the title track single from Zion T entitled, Hello Tutorial. In December of the same year she starred in the new variety show called, Cool Kids, as a co-host. And until now she is still continuing her road as an incredible artist. Sulgi is not only good at singing, or known as the best dancer of this generation, she is nice and kind, has good MC skills and modeling skills. She loves to draw, likes fashion and art. But thanks to time, thanks to her dedication and hope it was possible for her be to be where she is today. I guess it's funny for where you're standing Cause from over here I missed the truck 저는 저... 슬기 언니는 우선 교복을 입고 네? 지금 성인인데 저는 음. 언니가 학생 때 교복을, 교복을 입고 가는 모습 보고 I met her since I was a trainee. She's the same age as me. She's like my true friend. 슬기는 어 항상 뭔가 저는 이 중간에 이렇게 있는 게좀 되게 본받을 점이라고 생각해요. 어 저는 슬기 언니가 항상 뭔가를 배우려고 하는 자세가 되게 멋진 것 같아요. 그러니까 되게 잘하는데도 항상 자기가 잘한다고 거기에서 만족하지 않고 항상 뭔가를 더 배우려고 하더라고요. 그게 멋있어요.
her. I just love sleeping.